If you've seen the first episode of Tour de Bossier, you know that we've got the General Pierre Bossier in modern day Bossier City. And we're kind of showing him around for the first time. We all need somebody to lean on. We've worked up a bit of an appetite, so here we are at Silver Star Smokehouse in Bossier City. I wasn't quite sure what people ate in the mid 1800s, so I figured, meat? Well, that's accurate. Let's do it. What kind of place have you brought me to? What do you mean? Silver Star Smokehouse is like one of the most popular lunch spots in town. There are unaccompanied women everywhere and they keep asking me if I know what I want. What does that mean? Okay. Do you realize so, what will happen to me if I am seen here? The newspapers will destroy me. I will never hear the end of it from the week. Honey, did he decide what you want? What does that mean? Okay, listen. This place is famous for their slow smoked ribs. Chicken, brisket, steak, tons of awesome sides. The potatoes au gratin are the bomb. Because Bossier City is located just a couple miles east of the Texas border, the food scene here really combines the best of Louisiana and Texas. How about just bring us a little bit of everything, like all the meats? Okay. Well, I cannot remain here any longer than is absolutely necessary, especially if they are concealing explosives in the potatoes. I will tell you one minute, this is way better than mutton. Yeah. That meal was delicious. If you just give me a minute to rest my eyes. Here, let's get him out of here. He's not waking up anytime soon. Todd, thank here. you. Hey, man. Hey, how you doing? Come on, let's go. We gotta go. Yeah, unhand me, you scoundrel. You're giving me a lot of them. No, sir, you just ate a whole lot of meat. Come on in. It was really good, though. I figured, since Pierre had the itis, it would be a good idea to get some steps in. We headed for the Red River National Wildlife Refuge, a beautiful new wildlife refuge in Bossier City with a lake, miles of walking trails, an interpretive center, and more. Short and fat. Short and fat. That kill you fast. <laughs> what I really prefer is the coloration of the skunk. Although it just opened in 2012, the refuge has become a popular place for locals to hike, fish, and connect with nature. More than anything, people come out just to relax in the great outdoors. Relax. In the woods. These woods. Without a musket? I don't have a musket. Well, then how do you stave off the savages Whoa. who are sure Whoa. they lie Whoa. and wait behind the trees, sir? I don't see anybody behind the trees. You tell that to Hernando de Soto, you fool. So, as it turns out, people born in the 18th century don't really like to hang out in the forest. I did not live to be 47 years old by marching into the woods without my musket, you paw snapping bunch of rat baggers. Jeez, take it easy. Shh. Listen. Someone's coming. Hide. Come on, Chuck Norris, let's go. Awesome, Mom. Eventually, we got Pierre to loosen up, stop asking for a musket, Todd. and just enjoy the great outdoors. What's up, snappers? We're here at the last stop of our first day hanging out with General Pierre Bossier at one of the most popular locations, the Louisiana Boardwalk Outlet. Say hello to my Snapchat crew, General. Hello. Hello in there. Well, they must be tiny. You look good in flowers. See? So we've had a busy day exploring Bossier City, and this is our last stop for the day, the Louisiana Boardwalk Outlets. It's such a popular place to be because it has over 60 retail shops and outlets. Plus, it has the IMAX theater, tons of restaurants, and a local chocolate shop called the Chocolate Crocodile. It's amazing. So, what do you say, General? General? Todd, where'd the general go? He has my phone. Great, Todd. Thanks. Have you seen Pierre? Todd lost him. 
Got a flag of America for you. Have you guys seen a man in like an ascot and some pantaloons? Looks like he's from the 1840s. No. It's a pantaloon. It's like just an old type of pant. So guys, we are starting to lose the light here, unfortunately. We have also lost the 220 year old founder of Bossier City. I mean, to be exact, Todd lost him. So he can't have gone far. That's hopeful, but um, hey, stay tuned, right? For episode three of Tour de Bossier, where hopefully <laughs> we find Pierre Bossier before he challenges someone to a duel or worse. It's probably going to be worse. Good Lord, that's the biggest potato that, I've ever seen. That is a super spud. What happened to not caring about unaccompanied women? Huh? Well, they, I mean, All right, they, they have, back to the restaurant. Mm. Oh my God. Oh no, oh. no. I believe you have a plate of your own. Oh, um, this, on, plate was brought, this plate was brought to me. That is yours. Enjoy your meal. Let's switch emotions a little bit. This is for the opener. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I love that. <laughs>